The first blow dealt to atheism by 20th century science came in the field of cosmology. Belief in a universe that had existed forever collapsed, and evidence emerged that the universe did indeed have a beginning. In other words, that it had been created. The idea of an infinite universe was first put forward by atheist philosophers in ancient Greece. The first person to support the idea in the New Age was the famous 18th century philosopher, Immanuel Kant. Kant claimed that the universe had existed forever and that all possibilities could actually happen within that infinite expanse of time. In the 19th century, the view that the universe had no beginning, that there was no moment of creation, came to be widely accepted. Science would shortly prove, however, that the universe did indeed have a beginning. That proof came from the Big Bang Theory. The theory of the Big Bang was the result of a string of discoveries. In 1929, the American astronomer Edwin Hubble realized that the galaxies in the universe were constantly moving away from one another, which meant that the universe was expanding. If the flow of time in an expanding universe were reversed, then it emerged that the whole universe must have come from a single point. Astronomers found themselves facing a metaphysical situation in which this single point possessed infinite gravity, yet zero volume. Matter and time emerged with the explosion of that infinitely small point. To put it another way, the universe was created from nothing. Although the Big Bang Theory disturbed materialists, it continued to be supported by concrete scientific discoveries. During their observations in the 1960s, the two scientists, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, identified the radioactive traces left behind by that explosion. The same thing was confirmed in the 1990s with the levels of radiation captured by the satellite Cosmic Background Explorer, COBE. Today, atheists have been completely backed into a corner by these scientific truths. One example of the atheist reaction to the Big Bang Theory appeared in the 1989 article by John Maddox, the editor of Nature, one of the best-known materialist scientific magazines. In that article, called Down with the Big Bang, Maddox wrote that the Big Bang is philosophically unacceptable because creationists and those of similar persuasion have ample justification in the doctrine of the Big Bang. He also predicted that the Big Bang is unlikely to survive the decade ahead. Yet despite Maddox's optimistic statements, the Big Bang theory has since grown ever stronger, and many more discoveries confirming the creation of the universe have been made. The fact arrived at by modern astronomy is this. Matter and time were brought into being by an infinitely powerful creator who is bound by neither of them. The creator of the universe we inhabit is God, Lord of all the worlds.